Okay, let's go, guys. Go, go, go. Get up, leave it. The file keeps getting bigger. Today's our last day. This is drop dead day. So many jumps. Dean just got two more. It was just too much for me. Too lucky day. Badges out. You know exactly which one she lives in? Yeah. Okay, let's go get it. The little jig is up, Vanessa. Nice exciting day, ain't it? You will be hunted down like a dog and thrown in jail. insurance company called and they need our help. So we're going to Montrose, Colorado. We're helping Dean out. Dog's coming down to help us out with some runners. You don't have information in these files. That's, That's terrible. terrible. We're in our second day up here in uh, Montrose. Let's round them up. Instead of working one particular person at a time, we split up and we're going to work different ones. I need to myself in. It's completely impossible. Where are you? I have no money to get Okay, back. well, where are you for the fifth time? Vanessa, it's not going to go away like that. I got Kimberly on the phone. Your warrant is outstanding. What do I need to do? Just to fly in. We'll meet you up there to be sure that we get this done right. OK. All right, thank you. Where's everybody at? All right, let's start in here. This is Kimberly Bernard, the girl flying in from Arizona. But she is Kimberly Fenner now, because she got married. Bail's 5,000 cash only, so equivalent to a $50,000 bond. Am I right, Mary Ellen? Yes. I called the courts this morning because I wanted to try to walk her into the court, which is what I promised her. And I would try to reinstate her bond. And they tell me, hey, you know what? Why don't you just go ahead and drop her in the jail? So she thinks she's going to come right in and go right out. So we're going to arrest her? I don't have a choice. So we got to go, though, because she's flying in at any minute. Take one minute to do this other lady, OK? OK, right. give me a name, Beth. Maria Vasquez. She's a $20,000 bond. This is a lot of driving stuff. Her bond has been changed to a 10000 cash only now. Oh, really? Ten grand cash? Yeah. Right. So this was my case yesterday. I just called the first number, and someone named Lloyd answered the phone. And I said, hi, I'm looking for Marie. And he goes, why? And I said, oh, I owe her some money. And he said that he would ever call me back. He goes, where are you right now? And I go, oh, I'm, I'm like in Montrose. And he was like, oh, OK. So she's in this area. Yeah. All right, well, let's go get our girl, then we'll start working on her. And then in the meantime, we're still working Vanessa Sparkman. Ready? Let's roll. Hello? Who's this? Hold on, Vanessa. Beth will talk to you. Vanessa. I don't understand why you guys are asking me Because you're a wanted fugitive. It's about to get much worse, little girl. I told you last night I was giving you one chance to bring OK, goodbye. Keep hanging up on this little until she's going to shut her mouth and listen. All right. The plane has landed. OK, plane landed. Let's dig. Radio's on, guys. OK, keep going. That's not her. None of those are her. Hold up. Hold up, Eric. You see her anywhere at all? We should go in and see if all the people have come out yet. Okay. Is that her? OK, right there. Blam. Is that you? Not a bad guy. Okay. Come on. That's right. Here. Cuffs now. Okay. And you just scooch right over there by Dwayne Lee. Okay. Hold on, I gotta talk to this lady real quick on this other case. I'm sorry. That's mm. I was trying to get this other girl to turn herself in, and she didn't have as much sense as you did. No. Hello. You ready to talk now, Vanessa? I can't talk to you 
Harvey. Yeah, I know. But when you're gonna run your mouth like that, I'm gonna hang up on you. I'm getting it taken care of. Well, really? When? Oh, really? Oh, really? I spoke to the judge this morning, honey. He's done with you. The warrant stands. He'll do nothing over the mail, and he'll do nothing over the phone. So the little jig is up, Vanessa. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we will see. I get my way in everything I want. Oh, okay? really? That, that's how it is. That's how it is. And I will make this happen. Well, you want to bet? Ready? Let's roll. That's it. Take her to Grand Junction Jail. 10 four. This little girl took a deep breath and flew 2,000 miles and is doing the right thing. This warrant was supposed to be lifted. Yeah. I sent her this doctor's note when I was in the she hospital. She didn't get it. Maybe. No, she did. She said it wasn't good enough. Oh, why? I don't know. I went to court. I turned myself in in Montrose. In and you court posted the bond. And I posted the bond. Right, but then you didn't come back. Yes, I did. I went to court twice, and it never got lifted, I guess. This is all about a divorce, honey? What the hell? You're saying that you didn't let the guy visit, right? That's what he was saying, yes. But it's not true. And I said, you know, let's work this out. I don't have a problem with you seeing the kids. And we went to mediation, and he kept backing out on all the deals we made. It's my fault. I wasn't, I should have, I should have stayed on this more. <laughs> but at the same time, my baby's in the hospital. He's had five surgeries, and it was just too much for me to do all of it. And now they had this hearing, and I didn't know about it. And then the judge did a default judgment, and then they just took my kids away from me. And now I've spent all my family's money on this lawyer. Have visiting rights on your kids? Um, I can go up to Alaska and see them supervised. Really? What the it's hell is that what about? The hell? You ever had a drug problem? No. You have no alcohol? You have no. nothing on your history at all? No. No criminal history? I have nothing. What no. about him? I told the court. He has DUIs. He was arrested for domestic violence. He broke my jaw. <laughs> oh, isn't that just peachy? Pull over. Pull over, over here, on take a left. No, I, I don't care, take a left. Oh They'll follow us. Pull over. Yeah, just stop. No, I never thought mm. this would happen. I'm a good mom. This is just <laughs> dumb. <sighs> they took both her kids because she failed to appear because the baby was in the hospital. Took her babies from her. She hasn't seen her baby. No, she had two kids with this guy, and then she had this little boy. They came in and to her house and took the kids. And what they say? The Default reason? judgment. Default judgment. She didn't show up to a hearing that they. She didn't even know they were having because she was in Children's Hospital with the other kid. Allegedly, the guy broke her jaw, uh -huh. beat her ass, has DUIs, and he walked away with the kids. I want to turn her loose right now. I've never done that in my whole career. And well, eat that thousand dollars. Listen, we all do, but there's a ball. No, I'm serious. This girl is getting railroaded. She lost her kids already. She has no criminal history. She has no traffics even. Nothing. And she's going to jail on a cash bond. I want to eat the bond and kick her loose. Sayonara, I'm I'm I promise you I am. I then why am I on the card you ask me? Because I need you to agree with me. I don't. I need you to. You gotta put her in and we're gonna post bail. I want to turn her loose right now. I've never done that in my whole career. I want to eat the bond and kick her loose. I promise you. Why am I on the card you ask me? Because I need you to agree with me. Got to put her in, and we're gonna post bail. That's Dean right there, guys. Dean, how's it, brother? Good. How you doing? Good. How are you? Okay. Come here, Dean. Will you? She has no chance here. She has no chance. You'll destroy this young lady. She let's put her through this. We can't let her go. You're going to let this lady sit in jail like that for weeks? I think Beth's been hanging around me too long. She's getting soft. No, I really am not. My problem is, is that we dump her in, and we're screwing her. Well, I vote to let her go. OK, Family let's vote. have a vote. Who wants to let her go? It's a tough scenario right here. You know, I don't want to play the judge, but 
we're not the ones going to be turning her into Dale today. My choices are to take you down there and drop you in there for two weeks, however many weeks. She'll, she'll keep me there as long as she I don't want to do that. So I'm not going to. It's your lucky day. But aren't I going to be in trouble then? If you come back to the state voluntarily, yes, you could be arrested. I'm not saying that this will ever make it go away. I know. But it might go away until you're more financially able to handle it. I thought maybe if I took care of this, the judge wouldn't be so mad at me. I've never given anybody this option ever in life. Never. In my 20 years of being a bondsman have I ever done this. It's your choice. And if it's not, I'll fix it. This case is really hard because it's a civil case. It involves children. She lost her children, so she's getting punished. Just come on over here. We'll get in this truck. And... Hello? H Hi. Who trained your daughter to be so terrible like this? What she needs is a spanking. I already played all these games. I already ran all these lies. There isn't a lie she can tell me that I didn't already tell to somebody else. Now, she killed the relationship when she jumped bail and left your phone number to pick up the pieces. See, in the Bible, it says the mother shall be held in the highest of honor. And when you do not honor the mother, your life is The courts, us, and you are all on the same page. So any way they slice it, they are going to lose this game. OK, thanks. OK, bye-bye. Hey. You've got, like, five jumps to get done today. And when's your anniversary? Tomorrow, oh. Dwayne. All right. <laughs> what are we doing? We're going to chase Tomastis. And who's got that file? Right here. OK, so let's go over the last known address, see what we got, right? OK, but I don't know nothing about this. We need to let Eric run this. You're up. See what you can do, batter. Sir Montrose. Tomaska. Here we go. So we're working the file I was calling on yesterday? Yeah. Let me have the mother's phone number. On the file. There is the mother's phone number. 970. Hello? Hi, is Jeremiah there? Jeremiah? Yes. No, I'm here. Well, I got to give him a check. We owe him, so I'm going to be coming through town. Where is he now, in Montrose? No, my state. Oh, shoot. We owe him a check for roofing. His number? Oh, Utah? 0850. OK. All right, thank you, ma'am. The mother just gave me his cell phone. He's in Utah right now. Let's go back to the conference room at the hotel and do some planning over. Sonny, you coming? OK, so I called his mother. She said, he's in Utah. He's not here. I got his number. So I'm going to call him up and tell him, this is dog. You know, your bond is small enough that da 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 Come right, right now. Yeah, so. Jeremiah. What can I do for you? Today? OK, you have a warrant, sir, for your arrest. We're trying to get this taken care of because the bondsman that wrote your bond is belly up. So. <laughs> OK, what I'm telling you is this is Dog the Bounty Hunter, and I have a warrant for your arrest. And this thing is my cell phone. OK, can you please come back and finish this? OK, listen, we're going to give you a chance to surrender. I don't want your drama things are all about. OK, we're going to arrest you. This is wonderful, isn't it? OK, put down the pipe a minute. Let me talk to you. We have a warrant for your arrest, brother. Do you want to surrender, or do I have to hunt you down? No, 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 no. I told you what I said about that. What are you going to do? Jeremiah, this is Dog again. Now, you know, I need you to listen for a minute, brother. I'd like to, you know, work some kind of surrender out where I could help you get back here, get you into court, and rebond you. So I'm here to help you, and if not, I'm here to hunt you. Let me know, brother. Thank you. 
let's leave him on hold for a little bit, because yeah. he's going to have to come down and think about yeah. it, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's flip. Maria Vasquez, OK? Everybody, let's go. Sonny, start that baby. We are chasing Maria Vasquez. Is why I came, so I could interpret. be able to uh, find our girl at this location. All of her cases are major DUIs. She might go to prison for these DUIs. That's why she's running so hard. Yeah, absolutely. What number? Hit right here. We're just going to try 141, correct? Got a bunk shot? Yes, to wing to you. No. What? Come on, baby. Let's go get this girl. Dwayne Lee, show a mug shot right now. This guy's saying she lives in 152. Right there, 152. With another woman. Okay, let's check. Neighbors gave a confirmation. I saw the manager come up about two time. days ago, and he knocked on her door, and I believe that might be an eviction. OK, listen, neighbors that live on both sides, let's get a positive, positive ID. Want to talk to me? No. Have you seen her here? Long time? How long? I mean, yeah. Marie. Marie, she goes by me. Is it that Mexican girl? Yeah, the one that hollers around? Oh, yeah, she always comes over here, man. You know right where she's at. Tell me. You know where Hastings is? I'll find it. It's right behind Hastings. Is it an apartment? Is it building it's a house? It's an apartment complex like Chester And you know exactly which one she lives in? Yeah. You're positive. Yeah. It's her niece. Marie, it's Marie's niece. OK, what's your name, honey? Justice. Justice. Oh, really? Go yeah. Out. yeah. <laughs> yeah. How cool weird yeah. is that? Go out that way, and, and I'll meet pick us. you up. All right. OK? OK, my crew, head for your cars. My crew, head for your cars. OK, are you in? OK. Taking a right. Okay, we're coming. When you get to the end of the road, take another right. So how well do you know her? Me and her niece were best friends. And yeah. then I just talked to her niece yesterday. And she's like, she's staying with me, but don't tell nobody. Right. Does she look like this? Yeah. <laughs> For real. Well, she does go by Irene on that. How far from down there? Take the very first right. There's cops. There's cops right there. Slow well, down, Sonny. There's a cop up there. The cops still there on Sonny, yeah. Now he's pulling right behind Sonny, and he lit him up. Oh, it. Hold on a minute. Cop pulled Sonny over. How's sir, that? Oh, sir. Do you have your driver's license and registration? Yes, sir. No registration and stuff that's in the car. And what was the reason he pulled you over? He couldn't see the temp tag in the window. Temp for Should have told him Sonny was speedy. <laughs> <laughs> Every time a cop gets behind him, we're going to pull him over until we fix that. Thing checks out, I'll let you go. Thank you. Yes, sir. Good morning for the plates. No problem. Okay. OK, let's go, everybody. We're pulling behind you. But they just drove and you just passed us. So keep on going. We're going to catch up to you. We're going to uh, 18th Street. Turn by the liquor store. OK, this is it right here. Which side does she live on? That building over there. Then we're going to pick you up on the other side. Yep. Can you see our informant going up to the door? 10 4. Keep an eye on those front buildings because she could run over to you. She spoke to someone, now she's leaving. Bro, you see this girl? No. Not one person, the whole complex seen her. Pop back. There she is. She just moved to 87. Okay, she's over here in 87. The neighbors say she's inside there. Let's hit 87, right? Go. Right there in the corner. Eric, go with Leland. Chastity. 
Lights are on. Hello? Is someone home next door? Come on, Chastity, open the door. We have a warrant. She's after me. Open the door. A warrant. She's answering me. Open the door. She's telling us she's dyeing her hair. She has no clothes on. She won't even give me her name. Listen, hello. We have a warrant. I have no clothes on. Who is it? Hello. Chastity? Yes. So your landlord tells us that your aunt Irene is here. Oh, no. So can we search your house? Oh, yeah. Okay. I did not. You guys scared me half to death. I know, but you should answer the door, and then you'd know what's going I on. I didn't know, honestly. OK, she God. said we could yeah, search. Yeah, Thank that's you. What, I was honestly just dyeing my hair. I was shaking. That's not my Aunt Irene. This lady, I don't recognize this lady. Do you have a picture of your aunt? Uh-huh, I do. Right there. That looks a lot like her, but it's not her. Yeah, no, that don't look like her at all. This girl, our rat, has got a different person. Yep. What we're trying to do is find out if Chastity's aunt is the same girl that's on our picture. They look very, very similar, but she swears it's her aunt Iris or something. It's somebody totally different. This and this one's the same person because but they're not she goes by out. right she goes by Irene but you guys have her down because she that's what she goes by I swear to God they're trying to tell me that Irene is somebody different than no, that's the same person Leland baby Lisa my crew come on Eric you guys come here so Mary has a good suggestion Lloyd is the one giving us all these numbers let's go to Lloyd's house right now show them the both pictures you have the address right yes we do okay let's go find Lloyd Thank you. Thank you. See you later, man. OK, go, Leland. So we're going right now to check Lloyd. Lloyd is our fugitive's brother. Lloyd will know if Irene and Maria are the same people. You have arrived at your destination. Right there. Hit your brights. OK, yeah, light it up. See a door right here, Dad. Lloyd. Yes. How's it, brother? How are you doing? Is that your sister? Do you have My ex-wife. Right ex-wife. Oh, is it? All right. Let me show okay. you a picture. Has she ever changed her name before? Used another name at all? Not that I can recall. Okay. Hi, Beth. Lloyd. Hi. How are you? Okay. Is that her right there? Your ex-wife? No. Right no. No. Okay. Shoots. So yeah, I'm going to so leave you a number, then just work me some magic and call around and make if, up something. If I can be of help, I will help you. Thank because you. Because I am sick of this. Thank and you, I'm Lloyd. honest with you. I know, brother. I feel it. You're a good dude. Thank you, Lloyd. Thank okay, you. You betcha. OK, let's have a powwow up here, Bethy. It's not the same girl. So every single lead on her we ran to death, we come up with a dead end. Well, this is when you work your leads to death, and you thank God you got two others on the pot. Yeah. And so. Vanessa sent me an email and said, you've lost me. Forget it. So you win, some you lose, so. She's like, I never fail at what I want and always get what I need. I may have created this by being irresponsible, but we'll clean it up on my own. And then look, she sent me a picture of herself and blew me a little kiss. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Let's dig. Almost made it to your anniversary, not quite. Oh, not you quite. thought, yeah. <laughs> you thought you were going to get me out in the street. <laughs> Mom, thanks for the photo. I didn't have that one. I want to put, I'm still laughing. She goes, who is Leland? <laughs> Look him up. We have shaken the tree as hard as we can shake it. So we have to let things sort of simmer down now and then start fresh on this tomorrow. so overwhelmed. So many jumps. Dean just got two more. He's a mess, this guy. Somebody really needs to teach him how to keep track of his jumps.
We're picking one or two up a day, but the file keeps getting bigger. Okay, I gotta take control of this because I can't understand what he's doing. I gotta make a chart. <laughs> That's another day here in Montrose. We've been picking up a few jumps for our Dean. He just dropped us off six or eight more files. The files are just very incomplete. They're hard to work, no phone numbers, no nothing. So basically we're starting with a name. You know, we're hired to capture fugitives. It looks like right now we're being hired to help Dean run a business. Here we go. We're bringing in Dean today to hear some things. He needs some on-the-job training. With Mary Ellen and Beth, you gotta catch on very fast. Mary has little patience, Beth has none. Today, the teachers are gonna meet the student. This is our quarry for the day. Hey there. Good morning, Dean. How are you, brother? Good. Your gas chamber's right up there to the left. Okay. All right. Oh, Dean, come on in. Hi there. Where do you want to sit? Right in the firing range over here? Sure. Mary Ellen, are you here? Fred? Yay, finally. Hello, oh, hi. I'm here. Yeah. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Happy anniversary. Thank you. How cool is that? You get to do this on your anniversary. Oh, well, just what else could anybody <laughs> ask for? Yeah. <laughs> Come, sit down. All right, I got word last night really quick. You guys remember what she looked like? Maria Vasquez, right? So we're this close, right? I get calls from above today. Dear dog, off of her right now. Not on the computer. Oh, you're kidding. No. We have a certified copy of the warrant, but she's not in the system. No. So any cops come to the locations? Right. Problems. OK, so go ahead, Beth, about Vanessa. Let me just give everybody a photo so we make sure that we know who we're searching for. She's a little on the cocky side. You sent me these photos last night. Can I have an huh? extra one? <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> she sent me texts until about 1 o'clock in the morning. And then I basically this morning got her on the phone at 8 AM, and she said, make her a flight. And she should be getting on the plane right now in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida and she'll arrive here in Montrose at 10.30. Okay, today's our last day. This is drop dead day. We'll work all day long, and by noon, we're out of here tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna run through what you have left and what we're gonna try to get cleaned up. These guys are in jail, caught, and handled. This right here is your pay column. Okay, all of these cases, you're paying those. And I'm not even working that crap. This guy, Jeremiah Tamaske. Cuckoo! This guy right here is a ghost. Cesar Galicia? Yeah. This guy's just running amok around town. You can't keep bailing these people, Dean, because we're the ones out there risking our lives to get them. Okay, so these are captured. Those are pay. These are the ones we're still working on. This is the scary guy you want off the bond fast, right? This Raymond Ledford. Yeah. Now, how are we finding Raymond's information? Who's got that? What do you have on him? An application, any of that? No, I don't. Why don't any of these people have any paperwork? Dean, damn. You have to have these guys fill out an application that you can look at until you get good enough to know. We're allegedly some of the best in the world. Sometimes we don't know. You can call yourself an alleged. I'm not yeah, an alleged. Well, uh, it's a fact. I'm the best in the world. Excuse me? I, oh, I'm sorry. The queen's here. <laughs> I'm the second best. <laughs> so let's go get him first. This Raymond Ledford. He's somewhere close? I think so. OK, we got to roll out, you guys. Get those files for Beth. <sighs> These two are hot off the press. They just came in the Here's mail. The file. The file. I just got them from the mailman, and I just drove straight here. How much are they? Let me see. Joe Romero and Jennifer Williams. Okay. More the merrier at this point. Okay, listen, this is the guy that we're going for, Raymond Ledford. This guy right now? Yep. We gotta go though, let's go. We're gonna try to do three today. I've got one already guaranteed, hopefully, if she gets on the plane. And then I've got two more that hopefully we can just jog out and get. Today is also Mary Ellen's anniversary. On her anniversary, she's out here, 48, she's out here with us. It is definitely a working anniversary, and I'm okay with that, because I live and breathe fail. That's what I am. Jump in, Dean. We're gonna talk. Okay. Okay, ready? Let's go. Here's um, Raymond Ledford. 
This is a bail revocation. Dean's a little nervous about this cat. Didn't pay premium, didn't do paperwork, didn't come in to take care of any business, and uh, we're gonna take him out now so that Dean doesn't lose on this big bond. The address is 11 Jig Road. Okay, you guys, heads up, because this could get hairy. This is a revocation. We're looking for a small blue car, Jig Road. Mom lives in the front house, he lives in the back house. Over. Too far. And the car is not there. It could be in the back. We're going on down. I think we're going to catch him completely off guard. Did you see the car? No. And the car is not there. The car could be in the back. We're going on down. Could be in the garage, too. The car? Yeah. Okay. Negative. Empty. No car. Okay, so where's he work at? He works at a concrete company. Should be time for him to be getting home pretty soon. And okay, let's get out of three here. Three cars there. Yeah, no, 6 37 o'clock. That yeah. should be home. Come on, the mom's gonna see us. To call him and tell him. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Four cars are all parked right there following us around. Every one of them cars, guys, are following us. You guys have three tails. Who's that? He's got a camera. Come on, Bronzy, let's move. OK, let's tighten up. Stay this. right on her, Sonny. We're going to lose all these people. Go. So we have a local paparazzi fans trying to follow us. You know, we're trying to work, so we're now taking five minutes out to lose everybody, basically ditch them. There's a parking place up there by that hill on the right. OK, Lena, get off the main road ditch, and let's see if they're coming. Now we can hide. Pull up next to her. We can speak car to car. Did we lose the tail? Yeah, dog. We ditched him. OK. Windows down, huh? OK, Beth, what's next? Let's go to Joseph Romero's house. OK, let's go. Which house was it? 6396 That's out here, right? It's back by where we just came from. Highlighted route, then the roof guidance. Two minute start. warning, here we go. Ready? Okay, let's go. We're catching Joe Romero. 10 4. They didn't see us, but watch it. You wouldn't think you could hide three black SUVs that fast, huh? <laughs> that was actually Half pretty the quick. He's ditching the paparazzi most of the time, right? We have a mug shot on Joe Romero. Right there. It's on our phone. We're very close, very close. What address are we looking for? 63960. Oh, here we go. This brown house, here we go. 10 4. Here we go. This car's trying to leave. Block it in, block it in. Uh -oh. oh. He's really trying to leave. Is that Joe? Okay, you go around that way, Dwayne Lee, I'll go this way. Oh, what the f in the park. You Joe? Joe here? Is Joe here? We're asking you if your address 63. I don't know who that is. Talk to her in Spanish, Mary. Hey, hold on. Where you go? Can I talk to you now? Sure. Where's he at? Who? Joe. I don't know Joe, but... What's your name? Carlos. And who? Do you live here? Yeah. This is your house? This is my house. You don't know no Joe? Joe I don't Romero? No, no Joe. What's your last name? Provisio. Would you like to see an ID, too? No, hold on, one second. ¿Con quién vives? Con mi mis hijos. ¿Cómo se llama su esposo? Martín. ¿Y quién es, era este? Mi hijo, Carlos. Tu hijo. Uh -huh. ¿Y este quién es? Es el hijo del dueño de la casa. What's she saying? The son of the owner of the house. Yeah. No, the son of the owner of this house. 10-4, we're still looking. 
Exacto. ¿Cómo se llama el señor que le pagas la renta? Alfonso. Alfonso de qué? Uh, Padilla. No, ya me estás mintiendo. No, no, él tiene el apellido. Déjame ver un recibo. Donde no, le pagas la renta. No, how long she lived here. I've got my translator, but she's not translating it back to me. Okay, I'll clear you guys around back. Come around front, over. So basically, this is common. Sometimes people will give their parents' address as their address so that, you know, if the cops are coming for them, they don't immediately get them. You know, it has to be a little bit of a search. So we're going to find Joe Romero, but probably not here. Take Thanks. care. You too. Oh, this is the guy that we were just trying to get, Joseph Romero. Okay, answer him. Okay. See where he is. Okay. Don't tell him. Hello? Hey, what's up, Nina? Yeah, we're trying to verify your address. Okay, uh, my address? Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, right? He doesn't even know his address. What, Give me that phone. Joseph? Yeah, this is Dean's boss. Where are you right now? Yes, correct. Where are you right now? Yeah, where, ex I'm sorry, which part of where exactly didn't you get? Where are you? No, you're not, because I'm sitting there. And that is not even your address. This is your father's address that he's rented out to people. So where are you? OK, well, where are you right now in Montrose? Where? No, I'm not in Montrose right now. OK, now you just lied again. You just said you were in Montrose. Dude, I want to see you in the next 30 minutes. If I do not see you in the next 30 minutes, you will be hunted down like a dog and thrown in jail. Do you understand me? You have until 7 o'clock. So why don't we go check Nathaniel Larson? He's somewhere close? I think so. OK, let's go. Leland put in 300 no. He's only two miles from here. 10-4. Oh, this is right here, this 307. What are we looking for here, over? 300. 20 second warning. You guys, it's over here on the left. It's 305. It's right here on the corner, right here. The it's truck. this house on the corner with the truck. There's the back door, there's a lady in the back. Okay, we got the back. Can you grab your dogs? Back, back, back. Can you grab your dogs? Hey, is Nathan here? Nathan. Huh? Your brother, can I talk to him? Is he here? Yeah. Great. He is here, he is here. He's coming out. Hey, Nathan? Okay, hold up, hold up. Yeah. What's your last name? What's your last name? Larson. Larson. Yeah, I'm going to fire back. How's it going, bruh? Very good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is this your mom's house? Yeah. Right on. Alright, come on. Alright, come on. 18? You live here, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Here we go. Where's my sister at? Can you call mom, Brianna? Brianna? Calm down. So the boy wants you to call your mom. OK, you want to talk to him? Hello? Yes, hi. This is Beth Chapman. We just picked up your son, Nathaniel Larson. So we've got to take him to jail right now. Don't worry. I'm a mom. I got your boy. OK, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hold on. Here's your lovely daughter. It's all right. Bye, Nathan. Stand right here against the car. Just hope the last. You can go to court. I thought my court was September 19th. Here we go. Sit right in the middle. Control your head. How old are you? 18. <coughs> Tats yeah. anywhere? Sister, she's got the mom on the phone. Hi. What is mom saying? <laughs> Don't cry. There's mommy to be here. No, she needs to be at the jail. And no, okay. we need to be at the jail. Here, let me talk to her. Hi, mom. Hi, this is Lisa. Everything's okay, honey. We just got to get this taken care of for him. Here, I'm going to put you on the phone with my mom, okay? Sure you can. Hold on, honey. This is your mom, please. Hey, mom. Can you meet me at the jail so I can get this taken care of? What? Right now. All right, I love you. 
Bye. We've got Nathaniel. He's about 18 years old. You know, he was driving with no insurance after he'd had a beer. What better than when you're 18 years old to get picked up by a bounty hunter and a big crew? So hopefully this will help him remember his court dates. Okay, let me talk to the two little brothers. This is sister. How old are you? 17. Hold on, let's talk. Who's following in his footsteps right here? Kind of him. Are you? I'm being, are you I'm being good? good? Yeah. What's wrong with you now? Um, I'm on probation for shoplifting. And you're 11 years old? Yeah. Did you get spanked for that too? No, my mom doesn't spank us. Well, guess what? You steal again, Uncle Dog will come spank your ass. <laughs> Show me how you shoplift. You walk by the counter. <laughs> and then you would put it in your pocket. No, then you go like this. Oh, you're under arrest. <laughs> so you're going in with your brother. Uh -uh. No, you see though? You see what I mean? Yeah. Raise your right hand. I swear to God. I swear to God. On my skin. On my skin. I will never, ever, ever. I will never, ever, ever. Shoplift again. Shoplift again. Okay, I believe you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me have Dean with me and the prisoner. And what was the charge you got arrested for? Uh, Kitty DUI point zero two, minor consumption of alcohol, and no insurance. And that's the first time in your whole life you've ever, ever been in trouble? No. Two years ago, I got um, a minor consumption of alcohol ticket. So, you know, a lot of people are alcoholics when they're 12. Are you like that? I said, I don't like to drink. I drink occasionally. How long did you stay in jail? Six hours? Yeah, it was rough. This time, you're going into population. Can you fight? I've been in fights. Did you win? But I don't like to fight. With men or with kids? With men. Okay, funny now, but you're gonna see what I meant in about three hours. This is the jail right here? Yeah, you gotta go around. This, this ain't way. bad. There's my parents right there. Here, Leland. What? Talk to him. You don't give a What's up, man? What's up? Is this your first time in jail? No. Nope. Uh, my first actual real time, I guess. Yeah. And then how come you keep getting in trouble? Drinking, dude. Everything's drinking, drinking, drinking. College, there's dorms, you can get drunk, no one gets in trouble. You gotta get out of here, get your life back on track. Yep. You know, whatever this, whatever happens here, you gotta freaking remember this today. You just gotta straighten it up. And let me tell you another thing. If I was a cop that busted you, I seen you out cruising around on a Friday night, I would pull you over because I know you've been drinking before, so chances are you're drinking again. You know what I mean? Let's go, yeah. we gotta go. All right, come on, come this way. Are you his mom? Hi. If we want to stop this right now, right, and we don't want him to have any more criminal behavior, he just needs a little wake-up call. You know, when they're 18, you have a little sliver of window of opportunity where you can kind of scare the out of them, where they won't do any felonies, you know? Six hours in a jail is not long enough for an 18-year-old kid who's drinking whiskey and driving a vehicle. He's all full of smiles. The jail ain't nothing. Wait till he spends the night. That's not a joke no more, buddy. Not a joke. Okay? You're gonna sit in here. I'll come bail your ass out in the morning. You gotta get this right. Understand me? I love you. Um, I think that this is definitely gonna be a big wake-up call for him. He's probably not gonna be in that much trouble for this, so head out to the next. One down, one many to go. Badges out. Everybody back! Police show up and they're like, hey guys, let us take this prisoner off your hands and you go get another one. Go, go, go. Get around the back. We need to talk to you people about this bond, lady. Open the door now. We have to move at lightning speed. Go, 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 go. Who's here? Freeze! Freeze! 